Hello game makers, this is Game Maker Rob and this first video in the RPG Starter Kit series is going to be about the game maker settings themselves. This is just so you have everything set up so you don't have to keep changing the size of the sprites and the size of the tiles and everything else every time you create a new sprite or a new room or anything else like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into file at the top left and then we're going to click on preferences and then the image editor and where it says background uh, canvas block size we're going to set it to our tile size for me uh, my tile size is 16 and grid settings we're going to set that to the tile size as well again in preferences we're going to check out the sprite editor we want the default sprite width and height uh, to just whatever you normally use um, so if you're making tiles then 16 by 16 and also we're going to leave the default sprite origin at the top left that's going to fit in with drawing the tiles with the room editor you can set a default room width and height here but it's not necessary as we are going to be using the parent child feature for rooms uh, grid settings uh, set that to your tile size also make sure that display the grid and snap to grid are checked uh, so now if you move from file to windows then resources options windows graphics then uncheck the display cursor even if you want to use the mouse in your game you can use your own sprite to follow the mouse coordinates this is just going to hide the default windows cursor uh, i have the start full screen unchecked i also keep the aspect ratio checked uh, now is actually a good time to check out Pixelated Pope's tutorial series on displays. That is one of the main things I'm not going to be covering for this series, mainly because uh, Pope does a great job of explaining it and I don't know enough about it to teach it. So why, why make a half-hearted attempt when there's already something just as good that you can watch already? Uh, before you finish with the options, uh, just check out the other things like maybe the splash screen, um, icons, that kind of thing, just so you can customize it and you can add your own sprites, whatever you want to do, uh, just to make the game your own. And that is it for this video.